and welcome back to SCBC Community Presents Today's Woman. I am your girl, Miss Capone, and I just came to just say what's up. And it was some things right on my heart, my mind I was thinking about earlier. And I, I be on Facebook. Y'all know I do. Y'all know I be on Facebook with my sisters and everything. And it's, it's I mean, it's a lot of my big sister. You know, I we I understand we have issues with our men. And our men have issues with us. I, I mean that's just part of men and women getting along, I guess. You know what? And nothing is ever gonna be perfect. There ain't gonna be no perfect relationship until we really can grasp the concept late that <laughs> we not perfect and they're not here to serve us and they're not gonna cater to us and none of that that stuff. I'm sorry. They just not. I mean, you can find one that might do that for you. But they, the ones, I'm talking to the ones that got the men that just like, uh-uh, you're going to have to, you know, treat me a certain kind of way. You know, and, and I promise y'all, it's not, it ain't hard. To a certain extent, it is hard because, listen, to me, I find myself always having to remind him that, hey, I'm not the chick that you think I am. No you know <laughs> and that's fun that's that's cool for me you know what I'm saying because that makes me better if I'm the type of person that I if I'm who I say that I am that I don't mind proving it every day that I'm the person that I say that I am and I don't get tired of that you know what I'm saying so I'm not gonna allow myself to get thrown out of character uh because he made me upset you know unfortunately ladies being in our feelings is something that we cannot is no longer entertain our feelings. We can no longer entertain our feelings that we feel and what we think. We got so much more things to do. You know, you are you are an Israelite woman. You are not uh, a common woman. You know, and, and and the thing is that we just are not. We just cannot do what we want to do. It doesn't work that way. No, no. I mean, period. We're Israelite women. We have, we are, we should hold ourselves to a separate standard and not want to do everything that everybody else did. Because doing things that everybody else did got us in the position that we in right now. So you should strive to just turn away from doing anything that anybody previously or anything that you was doing in the world, you shouldn't be doing now. You shouldn't be thinking like you think in the world. You shouldn't even be concerned about what's going on and how people perceive you who are of the world. The person that you should value is the person that's trying to keep the laws and do the same thing that you're trying to do. You should respect their opinion because they're going to understand your problems and your and your hardships and your ups and downs too because they come from the same situations that you come from. So you should respect their opinion over anybody because they're trying to keep the law just like you and struggling. Whew. I mean, if we could just get past that, we'd be all right. You know, you can't you can't keep these little wicked little petty ways about yourself. The wicked pettiness is the reason why we can't come together as sisters. We all all these sisters struggling, going through things, trying to be successful. Y'all, we can't be successful separately. We can't be successful, successful separate, and we can't be successful uh, just doing common things that common people do. We have to learn to think outside the box. The Most High say that the, this world was ours, and if we keep in the laws, that means we can have whatever we whatever we work toward. And we're not being and and listen. Let me be clear. Oh, I get this here all the time. Sister, we can't we can't come together like that without our husbands. We are coming together like that because we know how our house gotta be ran. Okay, we all running our houses in order. But listen, we as women are the creators of this this world that that the most high has planned. The men are going to build it, but we women have to figure out how to make it. I mean, I know that's like, we just like, I mean, some of the, the Egyptologists and all that stuff, people who talk that crazy stuff, they always talk about how the women create. L- 
ladies, we are very talented. We are very strong-minded. We have resources, and we can get things that our brothers can't. We can come together and do things that what working in the system that our brothers can't do, that they don't allow our men to do. So we have to learn to put our feelings and, and petty and the pettiness aside and promote what we can bring to the table to come together. I'm talking to the people who stuck paying rent every week, who tired of it, who tired of living paycheck to paycheck. If you good and you got your house out in the country and, and you, you know, doing your thing, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to the one who tired of busting her ass every motherfucking week for some change and got all these plans and, and, t- and just want to fall back and just do the bare minimum and live a good life like like she's supposed to be doing. Because we ain't supposed to be working hard. We supposed to be teaching our kids, loving our husbands, and that's it. Not all this being caught up in the world, working nine to five, what a way to make nine. We ain't supposed to be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? And anybody who, who hear me, if you hear me, you hear me. I, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat the truth because I'm really tired of struggling. You know what I'm saying? We all got our little plans and things. I got little some things I'm working on, working on. You know what I'm saying? But if I could pull anything off, my like-minded sisters, y'all in. And if you part of my Facebook group, we I, we definitely going to go all the way if you if you rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? But we so skeptical of each other because we think we all fake and we all ain't doing this and doing that. But it ain't like that. You gotta be able to you gotta be able to use your own spiritual discernment and say, hey, this one here might actually give a damn about us. Cause she talking that shit that I like. But we'll be right back after this commercial break. Okay, so welcome back. And let's get down to it. So okay, Miss Nicole, you sound like you got all the answers. You got all the answers. But so so what we supposed to do? What we supposed to do? What we supposed to do? We supposed to start being decent to one another. That's what we supposed to start doing. We supposed to start being so catty, okay? We need to be able to accept correction. We need to be able to accept counsel. You ladies, if you have a hard time dealing with somebody, find a woman that you trust and talk to her and turn her into your big sister. Reach out to somebody who, who your spirit vibe with and talk to them. It don't have to be me. Whoever you, whatever person. But please don't get nobody on your level unless your friend. Because your friend going to lie to you and tell you what you want to hear. And you listening to the shit that you want to hear got you in the, the same exact situation that you in right now. Your experience, knowledge, and wisdom has gotten you right where you are in your life at this point. And unless you are willing to learn something new, you are going to remain in the same situation for the rest of your life. You can only do what you were trained to do unless you learn something different. Period. And you have to be able to shake that bullshit off and learn something different. I'm sorry. Ain't there's nothing else to it. I you can you can put on all the fringes and pretty hair wraps as much as you want, but as long as you got the same same mentality ain't nothing gonna work ain't nothing gonna work and these brothers ain't even hearing it the brothers ain't hearing nothing and, and i and i don't blame them them brothers they don't want to hear nothing that's why they go so hard on us and for good reason i don't be mad at none of that you know i i feel like this i ain't too good to be told about myself because i'm not perfect so i can say i can accept some constructive criticism you understand because i already know my boo-boo Stink just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And if that's the case and all that, it's all well, good, and fine. You know? So, I am just to the point where I'm just not with the foolishness no more. You know? The most high is coming back. And he coming back for us. You know what I'm saying? And the sooner we get ourselves in order, the sooner he gonna be coming back with a smile on his face and, and, and ready, to, ready to put these heathens in, in their place. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting all into my that talk. Cause we ain't gonna even go there because we already know what the word saying. We ain't gotta discuss that. It's time for us to apply the word and start walking in the word. We need to be coming together. We if we have to do a, a um some type of phone conference, 
or if we have to support each other's messages on YouTube or whatever the case might be, it's just time that we put our petty differences aside and, and try to do something, you know? We don't only, we don't, we, black women don't have no kind of, well, <sighs> I can't even say black women. We're going to say Israelite women, we don't have no movements of us coming together in a positive manner at all. As far as they're concerned, we just some Bible thumping, you know, because it's all talk. And, and, and we, yeah, you're going to come across, you're going to come across scrutiny. Somebody going to have something to say if you're doing something right. But guess what? If you ain't doing, if you're doing something right, somebody going to have something to say. But if you're doing something that ain't worth a damn, ain't nobody going to say nothing. So I'm looking for them sisters who about this life, who is ready to come together with their people. Like I say, I love my husband. You love your husband. We love our husband. So the fact that we're trying to make a move to come together, that's the husbands is going to love that. Because we coming together in righteousness. We women are not coming together in foolishness. And we are being led by, by, the, by our head. But we got to use common sense too. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing nothing disrespectful. Because I tell you, I, these women, y'all scared to even talk to another another sister. I ain't trying to tell you. If I love my husband, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to teach you how to love your husband and understand him. That's why you ain't got to be afraid of me. If I'm a righteous woman, I'm going to teach you how to be a righteous woman. I'm not going to teach you how to be no hood rat because I ain't no hood rat. You can only learn from people who like you want to be. Like-minded, like-minded energy match. Not opposites don't attract. Like-minded energy attract. So you need to get you an older sister. You need to get, it's a beautiful lady. Um, I think, I can't even think of her name, but her name is like something Judah, uh, Celestine or something like Celestine Judah on YouTube. And she's an older woman and she's talking, if you see her, she's talking about making teas, uh, using herbs and soursop leaves and mango leaves and all kinds of different things. It's a beautiful woman and she know who she is. You can tell she know who she is because she's talking and her second name is Judah. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful woman who from uh, from Jamaica. You know? And I'm going to uh, find out what her name is and uh, definitely shout her out. She's a beautiful woman. You know, I'm going to talk about her probably on my next when I come back because I'm going to watch her videos. But I watch like all her videos just sitting there one in one afternoon because she's so interesting in the things that she talk about. And you can tell she got so much history. And, 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 and our culture and how it's perceived in Jamaica. You didn't even, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole movement in Jamaica that is about our people and we don't even know about that. You know what I'm saying? But this lady, she knows about it and she speaks about it. You know, and it's so you guys have got to get, stop being so nervous about changing or so nervous about just admitting, hey, yeah, that might not make no sense. Oh, yeah, I didn't graduate high school. Oh, I wasn't a real good student when I was in high school. So how would I think that I could decipher the Bible? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I only read three books my whole life. So why would I Why would I sit up here and argue with somebody who may have read more books than, you, than me, may know more than me? Why would I argue with them? Maybe I'm just going to say, okay, and just let it be that, you know? And maybe the Spirit will deal with you and allow you to realize later on that that person was actually telling the truth. Why would somebody waste their time just to sit on the on 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 Facebook and just lie to you? They just pick you out of everybody. They just come in and this and and the thing about it is what's so be so crazy about you ladies is that millions, twenty people will tell you the same answer and you will still say no. So I mean, how can how can I work with something like that? I need somebody that already know that the stuff is messed up and that we need to have a plan and that we, that I'm trying to work, we, we need to be trying to work with one another. You know, I got to, we need, I need somebody who passed that. I need somebody who not no fake Israelite. I need somebody who just a regular Israelite like me, keeping the commandments, keeping the feast days, you know what I'm saying? Loving their people and living their life. I don't need fake, fake Facebook people around me because I don't, I'm, I'm about that work. I'm about that work. You know, there's a guy in in South Carolina, I mean, in North Carolina right now, he is calling for his people. 
if you check out your black world brian mccullough um i think that's what his name is this guy is crying out for people to come and help him build 500 acres of land and you guys are fussing about whether or not you supposed to have a dress on or not i can't even work with you talking like that we are past that we already know we the chosen ones we need to be acting like it and i'm just gonna end that right there we need to be acting like it because we not we just acting like them niggas and them them bitches that's what we act like but we acting the same what what marvelous works are we doing to show who we are where's our works we can't even be friends because your husband is a Nazarite and my husband is a Judite and my husband curse and talk for all kind of ways and yours so yours righteous and he pray out three times a day. I'm sorry we have our we all we all live our different lives. But then but we ain't can't judge me on my righteousness. Don't I do the same thing that you do? I just don't do it the way that you do it. And as long as I'm in my own house. It don't matter because my ways ain't affecting you because we all get one ticket to get into the kingdom and we get into the kingdom by our own works. So if we all working to get to the kingdom, all our works is going to be good. And that's all I'm going to say to you guys. Shalom.